Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get some simple curls in your TWA hair. I just recently cut my hair. I'm one week today with cutting my hair off and coloring my hair. I want to show you guys how to simply get curls in your hair by using your fingers without using any apparatus like this one. And also how to just use your fingers in order to mold the hair nicely and neatly using just one product. So if that is something you guys want to see, then keep on watching. Okay, so in order to produce the curls, the first thing that I want you to do is to use a pick. But before you pick your hair out, I want you to use a mixture like this to soften up your hair. So soften the hair a little bit. And then you use the pick. You see that? Super, super easy. Okay, so we're just gonna be detangling our hair just like so. Now that we've had our hair detangled, this is what our hair is looking like so far. So now that we have our hair detangled, we're going to be making sure that we start off and clean hair. So for me, I'm going to be washing and conditioning my hair as well as deep conditioning my hair. Not because you have short hair like this doesn't mean that you don't deep condition. Yes, you still have to deep condition your hair, especially when you have a color in. So I'm going to be washing my hair with this as well as deep condition my hair with this and I'm going to be conditioning my hair with this. So I'm going to be coming back to show you what my hair looks like after washing, conditioning and deep conditioning my hair. So I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see my hair is wet. I still have some water on my hair. It's still completely wet. So what I want you to do is your choice of mousse. I'm gonna be using this. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that floating around YouTube. But before we use this to mold the hair, I'm going to use some castor oil. This castor oil has peppermint and tea tree oil in it, okay? So we're gonna be using this in order to keep away or to prevent the hair from getting hard or crispy. A tip that I like to do when I'm doing the oil, I'm gonna be using that much, is to make sure I go in a circular motion. The reason why we're going into a circular motion is because we're going to be molding the hair and we want to start to get the curls going, okay? So I go in a circular motion and because you're touching your hair, we'll let you know if you need more uh, oil. Okay, so I need a little bit more and I'm going to be doing that at the back and continue to mold. Okay, so what I want to do is try to get a part on this side. Okay, so I'm going to mold or I'm going to pat my hair first before applying my mousse. Okay, let me know what you think. I think I'm gonna abandon putting a part because that looks pretty wide. So we're going back to get the bit of that by using the pick. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. All right, so we're going back with the molding and we're gonna start using this. Now, with this, you don't need a lot, but I like to use a lot to make sure that the curls are gonna be going in quite nicely, okay? I start using my hands.
And just that you know, I'm not pressing down. I'm doing very light just to produce the curls. I'm very light handed just to produce the curls. Okay, so now that we've molded the, the hair with our fingers, we're going to just touch up around the edges with the brush. This is my husband's brush. That's the brand. And we're just going to touch up around the, the edges, like so. So you do the same, touching up the edges. Okay, so now that we've touched up the edges, we're just going to take the excess away from our face, okay? And we're just going to let that set. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished results. So for the purpose of this video, what I did was dry my hair with a hair dryer. It took about three to five minutes. Uh, you don't need to use the hair dryer, but for the purpose of this video, I did so. Uh, air drying is also uh, the best option. Let me know in the comments how I did with the curls, producing the curls. I have a very coarse texture here. I hope that this video was helpful for you to get your curls in using just one product. If it did, don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Hashtag here says Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.